Hey, guess what? I have... Anxiety! Please don't make me do things. Thinking about Skyrim Demastered Argonian. Look at him. Handsome. You know, his horns say delight, but his eyes say, please help me. You know, once I got very drunk in a bar, my mom had to pick me up, so I was trying to act normal by keeping the conversation, so... <laughs> I asked her if she's a virgin, and she looked me with pain in her eyes and said, I wish I was. Some parents will really be like, I'm going to make a joke that directly references my child's insecurities, and worse, I'm gonna do it in public to other people, therefore exposing those insecurities to others. And then turn around and be like, hey, they don't really talk to me anymore. They're so angry all the time and I don't know why. I'm perfect. This is because of social media. Concept, necromancer that doesn't know they're necromancer and thinks they're just a really good EMT. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard. I need a story on that. ADHD time processing. Okay, today is Monday, but tomorrow is Tuesday and I have class. And after that is Wednesday and I'm having lunch with my mom. Then on Thursday I have a night class, which means it's basically already Friday and this week is already over. Another one. Right now it's 2.30, which means it's almost three, which means it's only an hour away from four, which is basically six. How have I stayed up all night? Other people don't think like this? Yeah, apparently they perceive time as a linear series of seconds, minutes, and hours, which they can reliably partition off for planned and orderly activities. You know, that sounds fake. No one can do that. It's impossible. No. Mm -mm. No. There's no crime in being a thief. What a thief does is take someone's property without their permission, which is a crime. Not when I do it. I'll steal your heart and you wouldn't mind. That was very smooth. I'm gonna steal both your organs and money. Actually, this is Ted Cruz emulating Napoleon, foreshadowing that, if elected, he will become a vicious, war-hungry imperialist dictator. Napoleon is also pulling out a gun. <gasps> Napoleon is the Zodiac Killer. Cooking spinach be like. This is the meme content I like to see. Okay, let me tell you something. Chefs love memes about how a kitchen works. And this one caused my entire kitchen to riot, and my head chef sent it to all the area chefs in the company. Earthquakes are like the weirdest things. Like we're floating in space and our planet just decides to spontaneously do the chimichanga. So, do you have a crush on someone? Me. Fools some evil don't have time for romance. What kind of question is that? So, I have both a brother and a sister, and recently I came out as genderqueer, and my mom's reaction was basically, Oh yes, I collected the whole set. The only correct reaction. Mwah, love it. I'm sorry, but the Norwegian butter crisis of 2011 just confuses my goddamn brain because how the actual fuck does an entire country run out of butter? Did Norway just come home downstairs like, oh god, I'm gonna fuck this up, who cares? You know, I was gonna explain how the butter crisis happened, but then I noticed your fucking hilarious attempt at writing, we've run out of butter. I'm not sure if you know, but you basically just wrote, we drove out of the lubrication. Kinky. 222 golden retrievers gather in Scotland. Their purpose is unknown and likely sinister. I'm putting my cat on a vegan diet. How could you do that? That's animal abuse. No, 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 it's not. A vegan only diet is actually very healthy for them. Cats are carnivores, they need to eat meat. I know, I know. That's why it's a vegan only diet. I feed them only the finest vegans I could find. Yeah, I got really angry for a minute and then I died of laughter. Okay. I know people like to cosplay good omens, but driving a burning vintage Bentley is just going a little far. Found a nice guy? Don't friend zone him, end zone him. Throw him on the ground like an effing football! Touchdown! Yeah, <laughs> nice guy finally scores. You're not as funny as you think you are. Listen, fucker, I'm here to amuse myself and make people vaguely uncomfortable. I'm not here to entertain you, your reactions are here to entertain me. I am dumb as shit, and that will come at great cost to the world. For the record, you are absolutely hilarious, and I both fear and admire your ability to make the most cursed things into a coherent thought. How oh. dare you imply I've never posted anything coherent even once! I'm hungry. Yes, good. This is a satisfactory conclusion to this post. End it. I've never eaten a sushi before. Um, it's eaten. You're smart, you're clever, and everyone here loves you. You know, the reason Ang and Katara are great friends is because they started with a good icebreaker. The opening line to Sokka's best man speech at their wedding. Dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Oh, dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I'm one of it. My hands are full and my ass is fat. 
You fucking wish you were me. Whenever an American pronounces herb as herb, it shocks me. Do you say elp as well instead of help? Or like air instead of hair? Or like umer instead of humor? What the fuck? The H is there for a reason. Because the word is French and the H is silent, at least we can pronounce our stolen words properly, bitch. So, uh, <laughs> you want me to make you uncomfortable? Sure. I'll also rate your work on how impressive it is, in my opinion. Resurgence of the Onesler fandom. Rating, 7 out of 10. Notes, how dare you make me read those words. Now imagine! Members of the Onesler fandom... <laughs> oh god, no!